time. What is time? Time was when I was a baby, a toddler. That is time past. Time is when I am here with you. That is time now. What time will it be when I wake up tomorrow? That is time in the future. Time always flows forward. Time passes you by, whether you like it or not. Can you turn back time? The correct answer is no. You cannot turn back time. Time always flows forward. If you were able to turn back time, it would be possible to turn scrambled eggs back into sunny side up eggs. What should we do with time? What did you do with time yesterday? You see, that was yesterday, and it was in the past. It was an event or activity that had already happened. Let's move on to the next question. What do you want to do with time now? In other words, what do you want to do now? You see, now is the present. It is something that is happening now. Now let's move on to the next question. When is your birthday anniversary? What day and month? Okay. You see, your birthday anniversary is coming up. It is in the future. It has not happened yet. All right. You have now learned past, present, and future, and that time always flows forwards, and that you cannot turn back time. No one can do that. Tap the pictures and see the passing of time. Sunrise, sunset, and then sunrise again, and it's another day, and you are one day older than the day before. In the beginning, before the clock was invented, people told time by looking at the position of the sun. They watched for sunrise, the sun's position in the sky during the day, and then sunset during the day, day and night, and day as one cycle. Later, the sundial was invented for a better way of telling time. A sundial is an instrument showing the time of the day by the shadow of a pointer cast by the sun onto a plate marked with the hours of the day. Further invention gives us the mechanical watch that can also tell time by the second. A mechanical watch is made up of many moving parts including wheels, for dividing up a day into hours and minutes and seconds. Today, we have the electronic clock and watch that have no moving parts. They have only electronic circuits and a display. We also have the atomic clock that can tell time in milliseconds, microseconds, and nanoseconds. That is an extremely small division of the time in a day. We need to have a way to tell time. When someone asks you, what time is it now? It would be nice to be able to tell them the time without pointing out to the clock in the clock tower or showing them your watch and have them read the time themselves. You can tell time by saying, it is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and so on. It's a quarter past one o'clock, or two o'clock, etc. A quarter in a clock is 15 minutes. 
It is half past one o'clock, or two o'clock, etc. A half past in a clock is thirty minutes. It is a quarter to five o'clock. That is to say that in fifteen minutes' time, it will be five o'clock. You can also tell time by saying, it is 2.15. That is to say that the time now is 15 minutes past 2 o'clock. It is 2.35. That is to say that the time is now 5 minutes after half past 2, or the time is now 25 minutes to 3 o'clock. You should also add the following when telling time. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, noon or midday. AM for time between midnight and noon. PM for time between noon and midnight. In what situation do you want time to go faster? It is when and where we want something to happen sooner rather than later. In the picture, the little girl is anxiously waiting for grandma to arrive. The faster time goes, the sooner grandma's arrival. In what situation do you want time to go slower? Such as what is shown in the picture, the time remaining or available time is 60 seconds and the boys all hope to score a goal before time out. Why do we have to use time wisely? Because time waits for no one. Time passes you by whether you like it or not. So it is better for you to use or spend time to do things that are important to you and the people you love. Because time waits for no one. Time passes you by whether you like it or not. So it is better for you to use or spend time to do things that are important to you and people you love. Such as, do you have any suggestions for important things to do? What do you see in the picture? And also, it is better to do things that are nice, such as, do you have any suggestions for what nice things to do? What do you see in the picture? Now that's W5. Let's go tell others about time.